Do you believe that the Shroud of Turin is a forgery from the 14th century? Did you do a quick Google search, and find eventually a website that claims that forensic research suggests that the Shroud of Turin is fake, have probably not even read or even less studied what evidence the claim is based on, and think you can defend the position that the Shroud is not my burial cloth? The most throughout scientific investigation, made by the Shroud of Turin Research Project, in short, Sturp, in 1978, came to the following conclusion, the shroud image is that of a real human form of a scourged, crucified man. It is not the product of an artist. The blood stains are composed of hemoglobin and also give a positive test for serum albumin. The image is an ongoing mystery and until further chemical studies are made, perhaps by this group of scientists, or perhaps by some scientists in the future, the problem remains unsolved. So 25 multidisciplinary tests of the Sturp team are simply dismissed, in favor of a highly debated carbon C-14 test for which there are excellent reasons to believe that it was invalid? It's not a painting the Sturp team found no evidence of any pigments on the cloth in sufficient amounts to explain the image. Nor are there any signs of it being rendered in brush strokes. The entire image is very superficial in nature, around 0.2 thousandths of a millimeter only on the uppermost surface of the fibrils, thus it could not have been formed by chemicals. It's not a photograph. The Sturp team concluded furthermore, that it was not made by a natural chemical process. The image is the result of oxidation, dehydration, and conjugation of the fibers of the shroud themselves. It is like the imaged areas on the shroud suddenly rapidly aged compared to the rest of the shroud. The image on the shroud is the only one of its kind in this world, and there are no known methods that can account for the totality of the image, nor can any combination of physical, chemical, biological, or medical circumstances explain the image adequately. The image was not produced by vapors from chemicals or vapors from the corpse itself. Vapors from chemicals, or from the corpse itself, do not explain how the image is present on parts of the body where the cloth clearly did not touch the body. A burst of 34,000 billion watts of vacuum ultraviolet radiation produced a discoloration on the uppermost surface of the shroud's fibrils, without scorching it, which gave rise to a perfect three-dimensional negative image of both the frontal and dorsal parts of the body wrapped in it. A very short and intense flash of directional VUV radiation can color the linen fabric. The total power of the VUV radiation required to instantly color the surface of linen corresponding to a human body of medium height, equal to the corporate body surface area of 34,000 billion watts. Well, there is a $1 million challenge. If the shroud is a forgery, show how it was done, and grasp your price. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Blessings.